This is Mrs. Appiot with an answer key for a V practice test. Three pounds of bananas cost $1.50. How much does one pound cost? Since you want one pound, the pounds will go in the denominator and the cost will go in the numerator. So we have $1.50 divided by three. Go ahead and divide. We have zero. Three goes into 15. Five times. Subtract. And the answer is 50 cents per pound. How much would five pounds of bananas cost? So we have y equals 0.50x. The cost of the bananas is what we're looking for. And we have 50 cents times five pounds. 0.50 times five. And the answer is $2.50. Three-fifths of a pound of apples cost $9. How much would one pound cost? So we want a unit rate for one pound. So we have cost as our y value. Our unit rate is y divided by x. So we have $9 divided by three-fifths. Change 9 to a fraction. Multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Simplify first. Divide by 3 divide by 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 3 1 time. Multiply your remaining numerators, you get 15. Multiply your remaining denominators, you get 1. And the answer is 15. One pound of apples cost $15. They better be really good apples. There is a sale on apples. They're marked down a third of the price. Recall that three-fifths of a pound cost $9. What is the new cost for three-fifths of a pound? So these represent, or this bar represents the apples that we are buying, and the cost of this is originally $9. It's marked down a third of the price, so we need to figure out what a third of the price is. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And that means that each third cost $3. Since it's being marked down a third, we will not have to pay for one of the thirds. So $6, 3 times 2 is $6. That will be our cost when they are on sale. Which is the better buy? Show your work, explain your reasoning using unit rate. Okay, so we have one and a half pounds for $7.50. Recall when you're finding the unit rate that it is the cost divided by the product. So we have $7.50 divided by one and a half. Let's change 750 to a fraction. That's going to be seven and a half divided by a half. Change both of your fractions or your mixed numbers to improper fractions. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 is 15, so we have 15 halves divided by 3 halves. Change it to a multiplication problem. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal, 2 thirds, and then we simplify. Both of these can be divided by 2, changing those to 1's, and then 3 and 15 can both be divided by 3. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 15 five times. Multiply your remaining numerators and your remaining denominators, and the answer is $5 per pound. Now to compare the prices, we need to find the unit rate for package B. We have the cost 390, which is 3 and 90 hundredths, which is 3 and 9 tenths divided by the product of 3 fourths. Let's change this mixed number to an improper fraction. That's 30 plus 9 is 39, 39 tenths. We'll multiply by the reciprocal, 4 thirds. Simplify first, 4 and 10 can both be divided by 2. 2 goes into 10 five times, 2 goes into 4 twice. Simplify the 39 and 3. Both of those are divisible by 3. 
3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 39 13 times. Multiply your remaining numerators. 13 times 2 is 26. 5 times 1 is 5. Simplify that. 5 goes into 26. And I'm going to write my number as a decimal because we're talking about money. 5 goes into 26 5 times. Subtract. Add a decimal and a 0. Divide again. And we have 5.2. As money, that would be $5.20. So we have $5.20 per pound. Now, the better buy is package. So we have $5 a pound or $5.20 a pound. The cheaper amount per pound is the better value. So this is package A because the unit rate or the cost per pound is less. Number two, a tablet is advertised at one-fifth discount. What is the discounted price of the tablet that is originally $175? Let's make a bar representing the original price of $175. A fifth of the discount, so we need to separate this into five sections using four lines. Divide it by 5. 175 divided by 5. And the answer is 35. So we'll put 35 in each of these sections. And each one of those 35 represents 1 fifth. Since we're getting 1 fifth off, we have to pay for the 4 fifths. So we have 35 times 4. Recalling the half and double rule, half of 4 is 2, double 35 is 70, so these will have the same product. And the answer is $140. I'm noticing that the numbering is off a bit. Sorry about that. This should say number 2A here, and this should say 2B right here. A customer also has an additional coupon for a seventh off the discount price. Before taxes, how much did the customer pay for the tablet? So we've got our tablet that's on sale for $140. So $140 is our new whole. And we are going to take an additional seventh off of that. So we want to split this into seven pieces with six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Divide that into the seven equal sections. 140 divided by seven is 20. So we have $20 in each seventh of the cost. We get to take one seventh off. So we are paying six sevenths. So we have six times $20, that's six times two with a zero, and that is $120 for the final sale price. For our level four question, the table below shows the quantities for six different size pans of the same recipe for ham and eggs. If the recipe relating the ratio of ingredients stays the same, find the missing values for the different size pans and show all work. So we are making green eggs and ham. And we have ham in our recipe as well as eggs. And then we have the total number of cups in the pan. The first thing that you'll want to do for finding A, the total cups, is to add the amount of ham to the amount of eggs. So 4 plus 3 fifths is equal to the total. And that will be 4 and 3 fifths. Next, we want to find the amount of ham in the recipe, right here, the amount of ham in the recipe when you have one-fifth cups of eggs. So my recommendation is that you cover up the third column while you work with the first two columns. 
So I'm just going to cover this up for now and just take a post-it note or something and cover that up. And deal with your table, just this part of it. Find your unit rate for x and y, or relating y to x. So we have y divided by x. We have 3 fifths divided by 4. That's 3 fifths times 1 fourth. Remember to multiply by the reciprocal. When you do that, you get 3 twentieths for a unit rate. Now, remember when you're going from y to x that you need to divide by the unit rate. So we have 1 fifth divided by the unit rate. That's 1 fifth divided by 3 twentieths. Multiply by the reciprocal. So we have 1 fifth times 2 thirds. Multiply and the answer is 2 fifteenths. Okay. Redoing this part. Our next question for 4B is when you have one-fifth of a cup of eggs, how many cups of ham will you have? And we know that when you are starting with y and figuring out x, that you divide by the unit rate. So when you know y and you want to find x, you divide by the unit rate. So we have 1 fifth divided by the unit rate, and that's 1 fifth divided by 3 twentieths. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. That gives us 1 fifth times 20 over 3. Check to see if you can simplify. We have 5 and 20 with a common factor of 5. Divide by 5, you get 1. Divide by 5, you get 4. Multiply your remaining numerators and you get 4. Multiply your remaining denominators and you get 3. So our answer is 4 thirds. In simplest form, that would be 1 and 1 third. Next, to find C. In this problem, we have 1 and a half cups of ham and we want to know how many cups of eggs would we use so that the recipe tastes good? We know when we are finding y, when you know x and you find y, you multiply by the unit rate. When you know x and find y, you multiply by the unit rate. So we have one and a half times the unit rate of 3 twentieths. One and a half is equivalent to 3 halves. Multiplying by 3 twentieths. There is nothing here that you can simplify first. 2 and 3 have no common factors. 3 and 20 have no common factors. So you simply multiply your numerators. 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 20 is 40. And so we have 9 fortieths of a cup of eggs when you have one and a half cups of ham. So our answer for 4B was 1 and 1 third. Our answer for 4C is 9 fortieths. Now we're on 4D. 4D, what is the unit rate of ham to total cups? So we're starting the second part of the problem here, and you need to know a number for total cups in order to calculate the unit rate. So this is when we're going to go back here, and we're going to uncover the column, and we need to find the total cups for one of the pairs. It doesn't matter which pair you use. I'm going to use the first pair. 
So if I have four cups of ham and three fifths cups of eggs, all together, four plus three fifths is equal to four and three fifths. The reason that I needed to find that total is because in order to calculate the ratio of ham to total cups, I need to know the amount of ham and I need to know the total cups. So I'm going to make a new table and I need an X and a Y value. I'm comparing ham to total cups. So ham is my new X value and total cups is my new Y value. Then I take an ordered pair for ham and total. So my ordered pair for ham is four and four and three fifths. Four and four and three fifths. What I'm calculating is the unit rate. So when I have one cup of ham, how much total will I have? Okay, so we have uh, y divided by x for the unit rate, y divided by x, and that is 4 and 3 fifths divided by 4. Convert those to fractions. That's 23 fifths divided by 4 over 1. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we have 23 fifths times 1 over 4. Multiply your numerators, that gives us 23. Multiply your denominators, that gives us 20. So our unit rate is 23 twentieths, which is equivalent to 1 and 3 twentieths. What that means is when you have one cup of ham, your total recipe is 1 and 3 twentieths cups. And that is our answer for 4D, 1 and 3 twentieths. Question E. If a pan holds a total of six cups, how many cups of ham would be needed? So that is this question right here. We are figuring out when you have six total cups, how much ham will you need? In our table, we have six total cups and we are finding out how much ham. So here we know the y value and we want to find the x value. So we have the x value is equal to y divided by the unit rate. Our y value is 6. Our unit rate is 23 twentieths. The reason I'm choosing to use the fraction instead of the mixed number is because I would have to convert it to the improper fraction to do the math. So I have 6 over 1, multiply by the reciprocal, 20 over 23. 6 times 20 is 120 over 1 times 23, which is 23. Then 23 goes into 120 5 times. 5 times 23 is 115. S subtract. So the answer is 5 and 5 twenty-thirds cups. Five and five twenty-thirds cups. That concludes our review. I would recommend watching this video two or three times to prepare for the test.